Hot takes, great debates, highlights, basketball. The three-point shootout, a lot of good shooters in this competition. Again, no Steph Curry, no Klay Thompson this year, both out with injuries. So Devin Booker, the late All-Star ad, he replaced Dame, not in just the All-Star game, but also this shootout. He would have to be the favorite. This dude's won this competition before. Booker would get hot late. He's at 21 right now. He saved his money ball rack for the final rack. He airballed the first, but then he gets hot. One three-pointer, misses that one, and drains his last two. So how about it? A first-round score of 27 for Devin Booker. Puts him in a nice position. Not shown in this highlight is Trey Young, who had a very disappointing first round. Only put up 15. Buddy Hill got Devontae Graham on the bubble. Buddy would get hot as a campfire in this first round. He saved his money ball rack for the final rack as well, like Devin Booker, but he wanted to shoot from that left side, and he's just going to go straight from here, drilling all of his money balls to get a score of 27 to tie Devin Booker for the lead. So now we need one more guy for the finals. Next up is Davis Bertans, the Washington Wizards. Salute to Washington. He's got 21, and he's going to get hot late. Big fellas at 23 make it 24 and if he drills this money ball he's off to the finals so bertans is in the finals alongside devin booker and buddy hill bertans will get a 22 in his final round not good enough against buddy hill and devin booker booker at 22 he'll get to 24 on this one and he'll drill this three to close out money ball rack again on the last one for book He's got 26, so Buddy Hill knows the score he needs to win the three-point shootout. He's at 19 going into the final rack. He's got to go at least four out of five here. He drills one. He's at 21. He drills another one. He's at 23, 25. He's going to miss on his fourth ball, and he's got to make this with a win, and he drills it. He drills it. He drills it. Buddy Hill wins the three-point shootout by a point. Woo, that one came down to the wire. Congrats to Buddy. Yeah, I picked Devin Booker to win this competition. You know, I thought Devin Booker would have the chip on his shoulder being selected to the All-Star game, what, on Friday or Thursday? Or a couple days out as uh, Damian Lillard went down with that groin injury versus Memphis. Yeah, I, I thought Devin Booker would have a chip on his shoulder. He's already won the competition in the past, so he's already gotten that burden off his shoulders. No Steph, no Clay this year. So Devin Booker's looking around like, oh, wow. I'm now an all-star. I'm no longer the young guy under Calipari at Kentucky. I'm in the NBA. I'm an all-star. And I'm looking around like I'm the favorite now. No Steph, no Clay out with injuries this year. No KD even. I'm the favorite, right? So I, I, th I thought Devin Booker would come in with that chip on his shoulder. He's like, y'all know I'm the favorite in this three-point shootout. But I barely made the all-star game. And I'm putting up 26 a game. So I thought he'd come in with a nice chip on his shoulder and win the competition. And I feel good about my pick. I mean, my guy lost by a point. So I can't be mad, uh, but but how about Buddy Hill, man? So I was high on Buddy Hill out of Oklahoma. I thought he'd be a star in this league by now, but a lot of guys have kind of passed by Buddy Hill, and I'm looking at guys like Dylan Brooks, right? I'm looking at guys like Dylan Brooks who might have a better attitude about playing defense, about playing on a bad team. Um, I'm looking at a guy like Dylan Brooks who was slept on in college. You got Buddy Hill who was dropping 30 and 40 at Oklahoma. So I'm thinking Dylan Brooks is coming into to the NBA with a better mentality, right? And he just got a, a new contract. I know Buddy got a new deal as well. But I'm looking at Dylan Brooks as a guy who still got that chip on his shoulder. And I, I'm looking around and seeing Buddy, and I'm thinking to myself, there's no reason why Buddy and Dylan Brooks should essentially be on the same page as players. Hell, at least Dylan Brooks starting right now. Buddy's out of the starting lineup right now. And I know Buddy's overall a more talented player than Dylan Brooks of the Memphis Grizzlies. So I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, Buddy really could use this win. So I'm happy for him. Maybe this kilters his confidence and, you know, gives him some leverage going into this offseason with Sacramento, which I do believe Buddy Hill will be traded. You know, Sacramento's got some decisions to make. Uh, their last couple months have been interesting at best. So about a month or so ago, we hear that Vladi Divac and company, they're thinking about trading Bogdan Bogdanovich, right, for Kuzma. They really wanted Kyle Kuzma from the Lakers. The Lakers were unwilling to do uh, Kuzma for Bogdanovich straight up because they would have had to add another piece to make it work financially. Um, so, you know, that trade doesn't happen. But then you insert Bogdanovich into the starting lineup. You take Buddy Hield out of the starting lineup. So you're kind of confusing your guys here. You you know, Bogdanovich knows his name was on the, it was on the market in the trade rumors and all that. 
You put him into the starting lineup, but you remove Buddy? I, I don't necessarily get that one. I don't. Maybe someone else could explain to me how that could help that team long term. But to me, you're kind of fracturing two guys, right? You, you're trying to. You, 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 to me, that's not good. And you know, I'm sure De'Aaron Fox is looking around like, what are we doing around here? Are we trying to win or not? You know, and the Kings team has been disappointing. I've, I've not been a, I've not been a big fan of Marvin Bagley thus far. I thought he's disappointed thus far. I'm looking at guys in his look. Think about it. Trey Young, Luka Doncic having incredible starts to their careers. Well, those guys got drafted after Marvin Bagley. DeAndre Ayton, did those guys just not want to play? Or did they not make the game? Did Marvin Bagley and DeAndre Ayton just not make the game? That's kind of embarrassing, right? To me, that's kind of... I didn't see them in a team... That, did they play? Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't see them. Like, I'm just asking you, asking you, like, what? where were these guys at on Friday night in the, uh, in the, in the rookie sophomore Team USA versus World game? I'm just thinking to myself, like, you know, these guys have kind of gotten passed by. Now you got Zion in the league and some of the guys that came in before, uh, you know, before Aiden and Bagley starting to step their games up, like uh, Jason Tatum, Brandon Ingram. These guys are now playing at all-star levels. Hell, made the all-star team, both of those guys, for the first time in their career. I'm looking around at Aiden and Bagley, like, where y'all at? So I think that Kings team has a lot of question marks, but to bring it full circle, if Buddy's getting traded this summer, I think that will help his confidence a lot, knowing I'm still one of the premier shooters around the league. I ain't lose my gun. I still got my cannon for a shot. These dudes just don't know how to utilize me uh, correctly in Sacramento. So congratulations to Buddy Hill on winning the three-point contest. He beat my guy Devin Booker by a point, man, but uh, but super, uh, super exciting to watch, man. Super exciting stuff from NBA All-Star Weekend, the 2020 edition from Chicago. You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage, feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden and 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.